Your boy's one of the big forward. That is who we're going to speak to. Yes. Straight off six goals. Peter Wright joins us from the Essendon Rooms. Mark Howard here, Pete. Congratulations, mate. You're allowed to have a big smile on your face, mate. Uh, what was the build-up for you as an Essendon player, the rivalry between you and the Hawks? We'll get to what happened during the week and today, but how is it built up within the four walls of the footy club, this rivalry? And congratulations to you and your team. Yes, uh, thank you. It's definitely a, a big rivalry, um, one that we don't take lightly. And I think this week was probably a good one where we just tried to play our best football, um, tried to eliminate a lot of the outside noise, obviously. It's out there at the moment. We're not playing our best football, but um, to respond the way we did today, um, we're really, really happy. Obviously, it's the first step in, in a long season, so um, we're looking forward to more wins along the way. So, Peter, the club had copped it all week, and then take us into the chain rooms pre-game when, when the coach says there's five late outs because of the illness. Yeah, a bit of a spanner in the works. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't actually aware of quite a few of them until, until I walked in the door today. Um, yeah, it, it definitely throws a few things around, but for us, as I said, we, we really tried to just really clear out um, a lot of the outside noise and focus on just trying to play our best football individually and collectively and, and we felt like for large parts of the game we were able to do that obviously still lots to work on but um, we're pleased on the whole. Now Pete a lot of players say that they don't listen to what the media says they don't pay any attention to it one of our esteemed colleagues Gary Lyon a few weeks ago he likened you to the great Wayne Carey now tell me that you heard that and how big did you puff the chest out when you walked into the club the next day? <laughs> I, I caught wind of it. That's um, quite an outrageous, obviously, comparison. <laughs> um, one, of the, one of the best of all time. I'm not going to claim that one, but um, yeah, heard it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice to, to hear that, but it was, it was off, I think, just a small patch of football, and it's about consistency over a long period of time. Now, Peter, late in that last quarter, you gave a free kick away when a goal was kicked over the goal line. Um, how relieved were you in that last 10 minute period when you? You and the boys were able to get over the line and put that one to bed. Yeah, it was it was disappointing. I haven't seen the review. I didn't feel like it was a free kick. I didn't try and <laughs> go the underwater. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously you don't want to want to cost the team a goal like that. So um, for us to be able to respond, I think they threw a lot at us, and that's it's definitely periods of that third and fourth quarter. Um, I think we were able to stick to our best football and um, not get too flustered by some some of their momentum, which I think we've, we've been vulnerable to in the past. So it's pretty, to be able to respond after a few little things that didn't go our way um, was really pleasing. Now, Pete, you've been fantastic since you crossed over from the Gold Coast Suns to Essendon. What, what do you put that down to? Uh, probably a couple of things. I feel like I've, I've really got the support of the coaching group here and, and Chuck and Dale Tappy have been unbelievable for me and really just backing me in. Um, there's also some probably some little uh, craft changes I've made um, that, that are still probably instilling into my game a little bit, but just trying to make that, that footwork and that foot patterning, um, I guess, habitual so that if you work out a training, it just comes out naturally more in games. And I feel like this year that's come out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, along with just gaining a little bit of confidence and going to work on that craft stuff, which is obviously any key forwards one would. Pete, that's a great answer, but unfortunately it's not the answer Jono was after. He was in the back of the rooms here saying, oh, I made this bloke. I had a coffee with him on the Gold Coast. He was yeah. going like a busted. I had a chat with him and he's been playing like Wayne Carey ever since. Is that the way you remember the meeting with Brownie? I think we can put it all down to Brownie. Um, <laughs> no, I definitely caught up, caught up with him up there. I was able to catch up with him a few times up there. Um, great man, obviously still, still going. Um, obviously, yeah, had some, some really good advice, I think. Um, oh, there you go. It's been fired a little bit for me, and I always remember he said, "Run towards the fire." Um, when it gets go when it gets going tight late in games, he said, "Run towards the fire," and um, I've always remembered that one. Good on you, Pete. He's happy with you, mate. Congratulations to you on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you might have been carried away with the setting his career.